it's Mary. I am here today all because of the amazing Ashley Rose. She has tagged me in a 19 questions video. I've seen these videos all over YouTube with mostly resellers and thrifting channels. So I was really excited that she tagged me. And if you are not following Ashley, you should go follow her right now. She's literally like the most knowledgeable person I have ever seen about antiques and glass especially. She's also super funny and entertaining. You should just do yourself a favor and follow her right away if you're not. Even though I'm sure you probably already are. I am off today for my real job. I'm off between Christmas and New Year's so I thought maybe I would kind of go to some different locations and answer them so I'm not just standing there in my house. All right so I guess I'll just get started and right now I'm in my car. I had to come to my sister's work to get her to print some shipping labels for me since my printer at home is broken. I guess it's kind of awkward, but first question, what are your hobbies? So my hobbies are mainly thrifting, estate sales, reselling online. That's been my hobbies for like as long as I can remember. <laughs> I guess the hobbies that I stick with are, number one would be, this sounds really lame, but like working out. I'm. I, it's not like a fun hobby, but it's something I try to do four times a week maybe. Right now I go to it's a boxing gym. You get to punch things. You get to actually wear boxing gloves. I've been doing that for like a year and a half so I guess that would be a hobby. Me and my husband really like to do puzzles which is totally dorky. I have in fact got him a special puzzle table thing for Christmas. I'll put a picture of that here. Hi guys. Be fancy. And otherwise, I guess I just like to drink wine and I like trivia. I guess those are my hobbies. What does your channel name mean? How did you get it and what inspired it? Well, my channel name is the name of my Etsy shop, The Block Vintage. I've had the shop on Etsy for 10 years now. Crazy that it's been that long. The name The Block Vintage was inspired by me trying to think of a name for my store and I just kept coming back to the idea that the clothes have been around the block because they're vintage. They've you know been around a while. I didn't like around the block because I thought that was too much. So I just shortened it to the block vintage and I really like it. I think it's like classic and not too trendy and to the point, the block vintage. Uh, that's that. My favorite movies. The first things that come to mind is like Thelma and Louise. Love that movie. Yeah, I love Forrest Gump. The movies I could watch a million times would be like 10 things I hate about you, Clueless. Stuff from when I was in high school. The Notebook. I don't know. I'm so basic. But yeah, Thelma and Louise is probably my favorite movie. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, you should go see it and um, run. Don't walk to see that. And my favorite movie genre. That goes really well with that other question. I would say my favorite movie genres are drama and comedy and like maybe like independent movies. I like to try to see all the movies that are nominees for the award shows every year. So that's like a hobby. So now I'm gonna go on to another location. Hopefully it has as good lighting as this because this was actually very good and I don't know if you can tell but I accidentally bought powder with glitter in it. So if I look a little extra sparkly today then that's why. Now I'm dropping something off at the post office, which is just thrilling. So the next question is, what can I not leave home without? I cannot leave the house without chapstick. I think I have at least three chapsticks with me in my purse right now. If I get somewhere and realize I do not have chapstick, I start to panic and then my lips start feeling dry even though they're probably not, but chapstick, that's what I can't leave home without. So I'm 30 minutes early to have lunch with my friend. I have to pee but do not want to go into the restaurant already so I am going to park in front of the thrift store where I'm going to go after lunch, use the bathroom there, walk over to the store, and then come back here after lunch. That's a great story. This next question is, where were you born? Which is very easy to answer. Raleigh, North Carolina. It does not smell great. So I'm going to immediately leave and not look around too much because I don't want to ruin it for myself after lunch. I want to put in all my time here after that. BRB. The next question is, where are you now? I live in Raleigh, North Carolina still. 
I have lived here for my whole life except for one semester when I went to UNC Greensboro and hated it and moved back to Raleigh to go to Meredith College. So I'm very much a person who doesn't like change. Crossing an intersection. Ah. Um, the next question is, what is good in your life right now? Well, what's really good right now is that I'm not working this week at my regular job. And, you know, obviously the things like I have good health right now. I have a house, a great husband who's super like supportive of everything I want to ever do. And that's what's good. I'm not working. Why do I keep doing this? Now I'm just going to continue to wait for my friend. So I think I'll just stand here awkwardly in front of this bottle wall and all the passerbys and answer the next question while I wait. What is your favorite holiday and why? Well, my favorite holiday, either Valentine's Day, which I know is really random. Is this my friend? Hi! I'm dorking out. Now she sees me and I'm very lame. I had lunch with my friend. I ran into the thrift store. I will show you this stuff I got really quick. This is a really cute vintage San Diego sweatshirt. T-shirt that says, this is what a great mom looks like. I might crop it. A San Francisco crew neck. And then this oversized polo, which I was unsure about. I'll show you a try on of that right now. The collar is super stiff, but I really like the colors and how big it is. So I'm hoping I can somehow wear the collar in to the point where it's not so stiff. So next question. What name would your parents have given you if you were the opposite gender? I do know that because my dad is a junior and he has four girls, one of which is me. So he always said if he had had a boy, it would be his name, the third, which is Wilbur. So I think I really dodged a bullet. So now I am going to run into the grocery store. Little cart haul, some stuff for a salad, some iced coffee, seltzer water, and a pizza. Oh, and what I really came for, toilet paper. It's down there. All right, so after I went to the grocery store on Friday, I was overcome with fatigue. I had to take a nap and it is now Sunday and I've just regained my strength. I'm just being dramatic. I did take a nap, but I have had plenty of normal amount of strength. I did realize that I forgot to finish my answer about what is my favorite holiday and my least favorite holiday and why. It's very random, but I really do like Valentine's Day. For some reason, like the decorations make me really happy. I like things with hearts on them. I like the color pink. I also like it because I like Galentine's Day, which I usually like get really overly excited and make my friends really ridiculous cards. I was very proud of myself of the ones I made last year. They had a reality TV theme. Maybe I will insert a picture of them here. Okay, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'll answer another question there. I don't really have a least favorite holiday. This is like not to get all emo, but I guess my least favorite holiday could be Mother's Day because my mother passed away when I was 11. So just like, it's just kind of like, sucks to see all the people posting about their moms and stuff. It's fine, I'm fine, you know, she, it was a very long time ago that she passed away. But if I had to choose a least favorite holiday, that would be it. And also National Olive Day because I'm sure it exists and olives are literally my least favorite food. But at this time currently, our water heater is broken, so I can't make you uh, anything that involves espresso or coffee, but we do have frappuccinos, teas, refreshers, anything like that. Oh, so does that include ice latte? Yeah, I can't do any ice latte today. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Well, I guess even if you want an ice latte, they still have to have hot water to make it. So I'm going to go to another Starbucks. And you know what? That's just fine because I don't have anything else better to be doing while I answer these questions. So I will answer another one. Are you more of a makeup person or a clothes person? I am definitely more of a clothes person. I do not know how to do makeup very well. I'm trying, I try to learn. I do like to wear makeup, but I always pretty much wear foundation um, and like mascara. I mean, I used to be like so obsessed with shopping. I have a shopping addiction. And I mean, that's partially why I do reselling. But now that I've learned, oh, there's someone behind me. 
more about, you know, how bad the textile industry is for the environment. I've really tried to channel my shopping addiction into at least shopping secondhand. So yes, I'm a clothes person. I'm stopping. I will say I really, I am a skincare person. I like to try different anti-aging creams. Just something about me as I get older, I like to try to stay young and fresh. So by this first Starbucks, I realized I need something at the hardware store and I might buy a hardware store. So I am going to go see if they have that. And that is one more errand I can run. I was told the item I need is on this aisle. This seems like an excellent segue into the next question, which is, what was the last thing you bought? This. I bought it at the hardware store. It's a hair snake for when you're, you have hair in your drain in the shower and you just stick it in there and then you pull it up like so. Obviously I have a lot of hair so it's kind of an issue, but I had this thing that was really amazing called a drain wig and you like just stick it in there and you leave it in there for a little while and then like every couple months you pull it up and I guess you get a new one. I mean I did. I didn't try to like take my hair off of it but it was really helpful and the drain would never clog because all the hair would get stuck around the drain wig. Clever name. But my darling dog Archie likes to take the drain wig out of the shower and eat it so we had to stop. So now it's back to hair clogs. Maybe one day he'll learn. All right, off to the next Starbucks. Starbucks round two. Philip, let's make it started for you. Hi, can I get a grande iced soy latte, please? Any, anything else? A grande iced coffee with no classic and one Splenda, please. So I guess I could do another question. What is your guilty pleasure? First thing that comes to mind on guilty pleasures is that I really enjoy watching pimple popping videos on YouTube as well as earwax removal videos. I feel like that's a little bit of an untapped market. A lot of people like pimple videos, but if you haven't watched earwax videos yet, you're just not living. And otherwise, I would say like reality TV, drinking too much Starbucks, smelling things that are gross. <laughs> I'm just disgusting. Oh, it's my turn. The next question is, what show or shows have you binge watched? Well, if we were going to say ever, that would be a very long answer. Right now, I am binge watching America's Next Top Model from the very beginning. I am currently on season four. I saw it when it first came out. Obviously, I was obsessed with it, which is how my dog got the name Tyra. I binge all kinds of things. My favorite things to binge are like old shows from when I was younger. Like, I like to watch the OC. I like to binge reality TV, Rock of Love, Simple Life, you know, really good TV. All right, so I am about to cook dinner, which leads me to the next question. Can you cook? Now, can I cook? Yes. Do I like to cook? No. I am actually going to cook a recipe tonight that I've done before. It's just like an easy pasta with vegetables. I've been on a uh, freshly kick where it's just like delivered to you already made and you just heat it up, but I am trying to save money. So I'm making dinner tonight, but yeah, I can cook. I can't, I'm not gonna cook like an Emerald Lagasse feast or whatever. And I do feel that recipes are like overwhelming and hard to follow. And I end up having to read it over like 6 million times when I'm doing it. So we can watch me do that now. Yes, I can cook begrudgingly. Most important step of cooking, pour the wine. I'm also terrible at chopping things. Like, what's with the meanwhile? I didn't even get, I get to one instruction, then meanwhile in a small skillet, well I have just been doing this, sprinkle with lemon zest. Oh wait, when the timer goes off, turn off the heat, and drain the pasta. Meanwhile in a small skillet. That seems kind of unnecessary. I think I might just have to pay attention to cooking for a little while and come back to you. So this is what it looks like. I think I was not supposed to use the whole box of pasta. It seems like there's way too much pasta. Let's see, it said one pound. 
That's one pound. I don't know. It seems. Anyways, I've made a big mess. Now, now to enjoy. So on that note, I'll answer another question, which is, are you an introvert or an extrovert? I am both. I am extroverted because I do like to talk to people a lot and you know I'm fairly outgoing but at the same time I'm super independent and really like doing things by myself a lot so which is one of the reasons I like doing Etsy. I just can spend time by myself and I don't need to rely on anybody else to help me. Maybe I should sometimes but anyways I would say I'm definitely both. We finished the puzzle while we're eating dinner. What do you think? Are you Alright, so I'm in my office now. I wanted to go ahead and finish this out tonight, but the dishwasher is running, so could not be in the kitchen. I have a very loud dishwasher. So there's just three more questions. First one is, are you an evening or a morning person? I think that's kind of a weird question because who's not an evening person? Literally most everybody is awake during the evening. I would say if it was are you a morning or a night person, I would say I'm a morning person, but I'm an evening person. I do things in the evening. I do things all the way up until I go to bed at about 11, 10 or 11. I cannot sit still so I'm like basically doing stuff all day. So yeah, I'm not a night person. Like I'm not gonna stay up in the middle of the night and do things and I'm also not a, I mean I get up at seven for my nine to five job on the weekends. I like to try to get up by nine. So I'm not like up at six. I would say I'm a morning and evening person, but not a night person. Also a little red now from my wine. Next question. What scares you the most about getting old? Well, that's easy. Dying. Ever since I was little, I can remember being afraid of dying. I would sit up at night and not be able to sleep because I was scared of dying. Thinking about like death what happens when you die and the concept of nothing. It's always been very scary to me. Although really, you could die whenever, so that's comforting. The final question is, what is your biggest accomplishment in life so far? And I felt that was a very hard question. I graduated from college, we bought a house, I've been in my job for 12 years. Is that an accomplishment or not? We've been married for almost five years. I mean, those are all accomplishments, I guess. I guess overall, I would say my biggest accomplishment is starting an Etsy store, doing reselling online, all while maintaining my full-time job for the past 10 years, which is how long I've had my Etsy. I basically spend all my free time doing my Etsy and doing stuff involving this YouTube, Etsy, Instagram, my blog, which is not very much right now. But um, so yeah, I guess just being able to be motivated enough, driven to do what I want to do and it's a hard question it's hard to talk about I think I'm just gonna stop there I don't know maybe I'm drunk so yeah those are the 19 questions about me from the thing I was tagged in from Ashley who honestly is amazing please 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 go follow Ashley she is so funny we have a really similar sense of humor I like I'm always picking up on her funny references if you like salad fingers follow Ashley because that is the type of funny she is always throwing out there. That said, I need to tag some people. And I do feel like the people I want to tag, I don't think have done this. If you have, sorry, you don't have to do it again. I want to tag over the years, Play Hot Adventures, and someone who is not a vintage reseller, but a photographer in my area who is super talented and he's amazing. He's like next level. So that is Linus and his camera. Follow them all. And if you haven't been tagged, consider this a tag because uh, I want to see everything everyone has to say. Yeah, I thought this was really fun. I think it would also be fun. I kind of want to make a challenge of my own with like some weirder questions. I feel like these were all very good questions, but a little bit, I don't know. I feel like there's some things like some weird things I'd like to know about people who can really get into the psyches. If you would be interested in seeing some weird question challenge, please comment below. I certainly don't want to put a challenge out there, answer the questions myself, and then look like a loser and have no one else participate. So leave that below. If you want to see more videos from me of the reseller, thrifting, eco-friendly fashion, haul videos, subscribe, click the bell beside subscribe to be notified anytime I make a video. And thank you again, Ashley.